Hey everyone, Miss P here. Happy New Year! We're celebrating the New Year in music this week with the story Shante Keys and the New Year Peas. In the book, Shante and her neighbors teach us about how different cultures celebrate the New Year around the world. One thing they all have in common is that they each eat a special food for good luck. For example, in Japan, people eat a thin buckwheat noodle called soba. The long soba noodle represents having a long, healthy life. You're supposed to swallow the noodle whole without ever chewing to get good luck in the new year. In the Jewish new year called Rosh Hashanah, people eat slices of apple dipped in honey, and it's to represent having a sweet new year. In Korea, people celebrate the Lunar New Year, and they eat a dish called tokuk, which is said to ward off illness and keep you healthy in the New Year. Just like New Orleanians hide a plastic baby in king cake during Mardi Gras, people in Greece hide a coin in a special dessert called Saint Basil Cake. The dessert gets its name because January 1st is Saint Basil's Day. Whoever finds the coin gets good luck for the new year. Shante's neighbors are going to show us even more ways to celebrate the new year in the book. But before we get to the story, let's learn more about Shante and her family. They live in the southern part of the United States. And like many black families and people from the south, they have a tradition of eating black eyed peas on New Year's Day. Black-eyed peas are thought to resemble pennies, so eating them symbolizes bringing in wealth and good luck for the new year. Traditionally, black-eyed peas were cooked with ham hock, bacon slices, or pork, and served with rice in a dish called Hoppin' John. The two things left to complete this good luck meal are to serve it with colored greens to represent green money and cornbread to represent gold. In the story, Shante's Grandma Louise prepares Hop and John for her family to celebrate New Year's. So what we're going to do is take Grandma Louise's recipe and we're gonna turn it into a rhyme. At the end of the lesson, come back to this part of the video and press pause, and then you and your family can make Hop and John together. For now, let's learn our recipe rhyme. All right, y'all, I want you to take 10 quick seconds and go grab a fork and a spoon or any safe utensil you could use as a rhythm stick. I'll see you back here in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Some of you are already back. Awesome. Two and one. All right, y'all, utensils up. First, we are going to use our utensils to keep the beat while we learn the words to the rhyme. Miss P goes first. Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham, bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread start the new year right. Very good. This time we're gonna try something different. We're going to repeat each line twice. The first time through, we will say the words and keep the beat with our utensils. The second time through, our voice will be silent and we will play the rhythm of the words with our utensils. So line one will look like this. Onion, celery, garlic, please. Okay, let's do the whole recipe rhyme. Miss P will go first and then you will copy. Remember we do each line two times through. One, two, here I go. Onion, celery, garlic, please. Your turn, ready, go. Very good. Let's do line two. Miss P goes first, then your turn. 
Oreo chicken broth black eyed peas. Your turn, line to go. Nice work. Here's the third line. Cube tam bay leaf served with rice. Line three, your turn go. Awesome job. Now we're gonna do line four and five together. Remember Miss P goes first. Collard greens and cornbread start the new year right. Line four and five, your turn go. Wow, y'all are amazing musicians. Let's put the whole recipe rhyme together. Remember, the first time you say and play the beat and the second time you play the rhythm only. Whenever you hear Miss P say, what's the recipe? That's your cue to get your utensils up and ready to perform the recipe rhyme. One, two, what's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread start the new year right. Amazing job, y'all. Now we are ready to put it in the book. Enjoy the story. Shante Keys and the New Year's Peas, written by Gail Pierness Davenport and illustrated by Marion Eldridge. Happy New Year, Grandma, says Shante Keys. Mom said we'll eat lucky New Year's peas. Mercy, cries Grandma. I'm weak in the knees. I cooked lots of food but forgot black-eyed peas. Chitlins, baked ham, macaroni and cheese, greens and hot cornbread, but no black-eyed peas. One, two, what's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread start the new year right. It's a year of bad luck if we don't eat cow peas. Quick! Go to Miss Lee's and borrow some, please. Happy New Year, Miss Lee, says Shante Keys. Graham wants to borrow some black-eyed peas. My New Year is later because I'm Chinese. I'll make crisp golden dumplings instead of cow peas. I'm sorry to bother you, says Shante Keys. Come join us for dinner so you can try peas. One, two, what's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread start the new year right. I'll try the grocers, Mr. McGee's. Your aisles are stocked with such delicacies. Why can't I find any black eyed peas? Back home in my Scotland, far overseas, for New Year's, we toast and eat haggis and cheese. Happy New Year anyway, says Shante Keys. Come join us for dinner so you can try peas. 
One, two. What's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham, bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread, start the new year right. Why don't you try asking Senor Ortiz? What do you eat for New Year's luck, Chef Ortiz? If you cook black eyes, may I borrow some, please? I am from Mexico, down by Belize. For luck, we make noise and eat grapes like these. Happy New Year anyway, says Shante Keys. Come join us for dinner so you can try peas. One, two, what's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham, bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread, start the new year right. Next, Shante asks at her good friend Hari's, May I borrow some peas for New Year's, please? We celebrate Diwali with other Hindu families. We light lamps and eat sweets, but no black eyed peas. Thank you anyway, says Shante Keys. Come join us for dinner so you can try peas. One, two, what's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham, bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread, start the new year right. Now Shante is frantic. She's in a time squeeze. She thinks hard and rushes to Auntie Marie's. I'd have too many if I cooked all of these. Hun, take what you need of my New Year's peas. Thanks. And come eat at Graham's with me, please. One, two, what's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham, bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread, start the new year right. Grandma chops onions to cook with the peas. Auntie adds a coin for luck and a pinch of bay leaves. And Shante cooks rice as mom oversees. Auntie says, Shante, can you get the door please? Your friends are here for dinner. Come to try peas. One, two, what's the recipe? Onion, celery, garlic, please. Oil, chicken broth, black eyed peas. Cubed ham, bay leaf served with rice. Collard greens and cornbread, start the new year right. The peas are delicious. The whole group agrees. Happy New Year and thank you Shante Keys.